Seriously, the amount of metal parts that's being used on this tiny little blaster is so unbelievable. Hello, what is up guys? I'm Yoz Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. What I got over here is the Copcon 357. And this over here is a quadruple barrel, break action, shell ejecting, well more like a shell dropping, plastic dart blaster. Yes, I did say plastic darts, more on that later. And even though that this is a tiny little blaster, the weight of this blaster is incredible. I mean the weight of this thing is literally out of my expectation. It almost felt like the entire blaster is made out of metal. Definitely makes this blaster feels extremely solid. Just like Mac Potato who sent this blaster for today's review. Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam type blaster seller who sells rare imported blasters just like this one. So if you guys are interested with one of these, all the necessary link will be provided in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, some darts, and six shells. The blaster comes with these kind of spring-loaded shells and these kind of tiny darts. To put in the darts, just push it into the shell just like so. To load the shells, pull the lever on top of the blaster, drop it the shell, close the blaster, and you are ready to go. Oh, and pull the lever again for the shell ejection. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, this is definitely one of those tiny spy blaster. This over here is a quadruple barrel, break action, shell ejecting, more of a shell dropping plastic darts blaster and I am seriously a big fan of the color I mean the finishing of this blaster is absolutely amazing you see when I actually took this blaster out of the box with the weight of the blaster I actually mistook that this is a full metal blaster but upon deeper inspection I realized that the entire body of the blaster is made out of plastic and oh boy there is a lot of metal parts on this blaster you see the two black plates which is located at the grip over here is made out of metal and it is a pretty thick metal of course we got a pretty thick metal trigger and of course the brick action lever is made out of metal and to me it doesn't really make too much sense because this thing is actually pretty heavy and I'm pretty sure that just like some of my previous blaster experience they might put in some you know metal piece or some sort of a metal chunk inside of the grip over here to make this whole blaster feel heavy you know more of a plausible effect to make you think that this blaster is actually a pretty high quality solid blaster and it is full metal well at first yes it does deceive me I like that deception though let's get back to the blaster since this is a tiny little blaster the grip of the blaster is extremely tiny I mean it is way too small for my hands but the trigger though is pretty large and I like the snappy smooth trigger pull the metal lever is solid the brake action is smooth and this blaster over here uses one of these tiny little plastic darts it uses one of these uh, spring loaded shells to propel the darts basically you just have to push in the plastic darts into the shell just like so and just drop it into the barrel and the shell ejecting mechanism of this thing is actually pretty unique. This blaster actually uses kinetic energies to push out the shells, just like so. You see? Well, of course, without a proper ejecting system, the shell don't really shoot out. Which, in my opinion, shooting out shells looks more cool, you know what I'm saying? But regardlessly, it works. Speaking about cost-cutting, since they are using one of these uh, spring-loaded shells, it is expected we will not get a good performance due to the toy safety regulation. But I'm being told this blaster over here is a collector's blaster. And usually, most collector's blaster does not perform well. Because manufacturer expect you to just, you know, put it on display or just hang it on the wall. You know, to look cool or something like that. Well, this blaster definitely do look cool though. The Picatinny situation, this blaster, of course, does not come with a Picatinny rail. It comes with a pair of iron sight. The rear iron sight over here doubles as a brake action lever. The blaster fires the plastic darts in clockwise, which is nice because it is easy to predict which is coming out next. So, yep, I guess that's all of the quirks and features of this blaster. So, without further ado, let us go test the blaster out.
Okay, okay, we are back guys. So as expected, the performance of the blaster is actually not really good for these collector's blaster. It can fire only 34 to 44 FPS, not a good number. Maximum range for this plastic dart, 3 meters at best. But in 2 to 3 meters hitting a target, definitely not a problem. 2 to 3 meters. Most importantly, operating this blaster, I did not encounter any jam. So at least that's a good thing. And will this blaster pass the wall test? The answer is a big yes. Come on, the color of this blaster looks superbly beautiful. It feels nice to the touch. It kind of makes you feel like it is made out of metal. It is heavy to hold. Can be a good party trick blaster. Not to mention that all the mechanism including the shell dropping or the shell ejecting is as smooth as butter. Let us just put in one shell. Well, I think I would just stick with the, you know, shell dropping instead of the uh, fake shell ejecting. And overall, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this blaster. That's the most important part, right? So, yep, guys, if you like this video, feel free to smash the like button. I will be posting videos every Saturday and once in a while on Wednesday. So, do remember to click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So, yep, go ahead and check it out. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Adios, guys! Yeah, yeah, yeah.